right here in you is where I am made manifest. Right here in your heart is the very point where I come into the world. Right here, this light, this consciousness, this you of love. Right here, this is the Christ. And wherever you are, I am. This is the mystical consciousness that you are the place where love abides. Are you on earth? Then love abides on earth, originating right in your heart. Are you on earth? Then the consciousness of love as it perceives itself is right here in you. For once you have grasped that love is all there is, then you are ready to understand how love originates right here in you. It is time to claim the Christ consciousness, but not in the way you might think. From this moment, beloved ones, the moment where Christ fully comes alive in you, you no longer must reach up to me to lie, to love, to everything you know is true. Instead, you bring it forth from your heart right here. You now realize that where you abide, love abides. Where you stand is hallowed ground where you are is in heaven. Not if you can see it as such, not if you can lift yourself up, rather knowing that I live in the world as you, that you are how I am made manifest, not only here on every level, for just so were you created, that wherever you are there I could be seen, and seeing you I could know myself. And you, from your own central sun, could show me a greater universe, a creation in which everywhere I look, love is reflected back to me. Beloved, this is subtle, yet it is important that from this moment you shall recognize that this very consciousness, this that looks out through your eyes, is Christ. Having consciousness of this, you then claim your truth. You still see yourself as a duality. You see yourself as one who works at overcoming ego, reaching upward for the height that brings your consciousness into the experience of truth. Love is everything, including all of you. It is time to cross the bridge to begin to see always from the shores of the new world. But what I seek to bring you today is not that it can still feel like you. Yet you, in ecstasy... You in glorious joy, you who can say, Not as the world sees, I see. These are subtle shifts, yet what I bring you is the experience of what this means. It means that right here from the heart of you do waves of the Christ love wash the world. Right here in your twin flame womb do you hold humanity. The edges of this reality no longer exist for you. Yet you still know yourself, you recognize your being, and in every moment you rejoice. That as I am born into the world in your heart, bursting forth in every moment, you recognize the feeling. Oh yes, and guess what it is. Those glorious waves of ecstasy you share together as soulmates, dear one, that is creation. And what is creation? It is my moving forth into expression, and that expression is you. I have told you that you will look at every human being and see the Christ within them. You can only do this if you are seen it as I am manifest in you. Yes, Jesus said, The Father in me doeth the work. But notice the words, beloved, in me. From the two eyes of duality, there will always be another you, the you which you perceive yourself as being, and the other you're waiting on the sidelines. Thus, if you are experiencing Christ consciousness, you are ever seeing the ego self waiting to have a turn. But when you are alive in only love, in the truth of who you are, there is no one else around, no other way for you to be, and no other world for you to see. This is the explanation of what you perceive as a delay, that the higher consciousness can become a Christ, yet you do not yet manifest it. 
It is simply the view of duality that makes it appear to be a future thing. Yet in truth, you are only love. Nothing has changed this and nothing ever will or can. Nothing. So all that you must do is switch into the truth of only love. Switch to the truth and everything that is not the truth simply fades away because it was never real. You are not and could never be lost, alone, afraid, abandoned, or even hurt by love. It is not real. And just so, now that you know this, you can simply come back to the experience of the truth that you are. I have used many ways to describe this as we have made this journey, calling it the background, foreground, switch, and explaining that you are only here as a living cup of light. That there is but a shimmering membrane that you know is your body that gives you physicality. But in truth, I am everything that you are. Yet what is difficult is the prism of duality. That as long as you experience it will forever create two of you and two of everything. Thus when, in duality, you look at a person, you will always see their ego and their spirit sitting before you expectantly. But this is not the case. This is not two of them, or even two parts. There is only one, and that is love forever and forever. So as you grasp this truth in you, that looking outward through your eyes is only the manifest point of light where the living love comes forth, you will hold this single consciousness. You will know as experience that there is only love. At first, this may take practice. What, you wonder? How do you practice being love, seeing only unity? You do so by checking in with your consciousness, by realizing this experience you have in meditation only appears to be different than who you are at any other moment. Thus, when you actually check in with your consciousness, you can ask yourself that question. Who are you? Speaking to your consciousness. You can then realize that you, this part of you with awareness, is not the ego. For the ego is nothing but a set of parameters for constant judgment. That is, this is good, fun, pleasant, that is bad. Remember the past. Think about the future. None of that is you, this consciousness. And you know this. Yes, there are many who might not know this, but we are talking about you, those who know love as the truth. Well, if this you is not the ego, what is it? It is the everlasting truth of you. Therefore, when this consciousness focuses, even if it is through these eyes, it is the truth of you. It is the I am, just as you have read. It is the part of you that is separated from me enough that you can see yourself and have a separate will. Yet, the I am, which is in you, is the great I am just expressing as an individual child of God a cell of my heart. I have brought these things to you to assist you in getting to the other shore that truly, from there you can recognize the others. You can be the lighthouse to which they are drawn, emerging from the tossing waves of duality into the glorious peace of love. Yet to do this, you must bring this truth of the one, one love, one living light right here. Right here, because this is the very point in which I become manifest. If you are on earth, I am there. If you are in heaven, I am there, wherever you are. Wherever your heart is present, right there do I come forth, whole and perfect. I know this may seem like splitting hairs, but I'd like to ask your cooperation. I ask you to begin to feel your consciousness as Christ, as my love peering out from behind your eyes, Yes, in this way is like the headlights, but with your consciousness here in the world rather than the vastness. At one time I asked you to see yourself as the vastness you are, seeing your body as a little speck. Now you must know that fullness is the only possibility right there. All that love looking out of your eyes. What am I doing flip-flopping like this? Of course, I have a plan, though even this presupposes a future where the plan becomes enacted. I am rocking you back and forth, back and forth, until just like a car stuck in the mud, the rocking finally frees you. 
until I disengage your consciousness from this make-believe duality and bring you fully home in me. Right here, where you are, for you are the place where our wills are joined, that the Father does the works, but does them in you. In you. This life, this consciousness, and there is only one. There is only one world, and that is love. So as you look out of these eyes, this consciousness you are, you may remind yourself of what you know is true. That love is only given, that I am abundance, ecstasy, ecstasy, dear ones. Feed each one of these things as you remember. I am life ever more abundant, luminous, light-filled, and I am only love. Then truly say these things seen, I am as you, the only you. I am love. I am abundance. I am glorious supply. I am ecstasy. I am waves of love bursting forth into manifestation. Do you get a glimpse? First you list what I am. I, God. All that is, the love that is from everlasting to everlasting, and then you realize that I am is you too, right here, your consciousness, and that all those things are flowing forth from you. I am abundance. This is the me as you. This is your affirmation, the truth of your very existence. As you do this, the illusion will begin to clear. You will never be identified with it again. Yes, you will see those who believe there are two of them and don't even know that they are not the ego, that set of parameters for judging life. But you will never again stop there because you know that I am the center of your being. Right here, where your consciousness is focused, that bubble of golden light will automatically burst forth from your heart and acknowledge the I am in them which I have named Christ, my son or daughter, because it is me in form. Form being your consciousness that can see itself, thus being separate from me in the original sense, separate enough not to get sucked back into the huge vastness. So you can see that this duality is just taking it too far, taking the concept of separating from me, so you could co-create and run with it, you are nothing if not exuberant, beloveds. So you decided that if separating was the idea, well, if you took it to the farthest possibility, you know that if some is good, more must be better idea. So you took it all the way out to creating a completely separate reality. And how could you possibly even accomplish that if I am love and that is all that is? Well, absolutely the only way was to somehow create a space where love was not. Can you see how this truly is absolutely the only way to really be completely separate? Now, you do have to admit that it was brilliant and certainly worthy of my children. To even conceive of such an outlandish idea was certainly you exerting your creative power. But it didn't work very well. You know all the rest, how everything had to be backwards, including your generators of life, force, the living sparks of love. Yet you have come at last to see that as brilliant as this was, it never affected the truth of me, and thus the truth of you. I am still love. I did not change that. It just pretended to. I am still abundant supply. I am still ecstasy. And the moment any of you stop focusing your co-creative attention on the pretend world and turn around, all the rest is still right here. It's never changed a bit. Picture what you know about heaven, or about what we call the new world regularly. That all one does is think of something and allows oneself to feel it, and it comes into being. Anything. So there can be no such thing as lack, or feeling unhappy, or unfulfilled, unless you want to do this. Very soon you'd quit. Think of nature as it is without human interference. That truly the lilies of the field neither toil nor spin, yet all they need is ever provided. They in turn share their beauty, thus continuing on the blessing. It is time to bring forth the remembrance truly that this is what you do. 
pour forth blessings and love, and that through this, love is poured on. And that wherever your conscience is, this is happening. And right now, your conscience is here in the world. And when you are centered in your Christ consciousness, the knowledge that I am alive in you will be this easy. You will be in such harmony. Will everything that your will shall effortlessly be done. Only in Christ consciousness, however, and in such consciousness and such harmony, all is forever working for the highest good. So what you will shall be done in a synergy with all that is concerned. That always anything you do creates the highest good forever. Yet try this with our ego and look out for the disaster. For co-creation based in separation works only for the good of one, that separated being. And well, look around this pseudo world and you will get the picture. Christ's light pours out from your eyes and waves of love pour forth from your heart and every single atom of your body is a sun. Love is who you are. As you claim this for yourself, you'll be creating once again a path for others. And isn't that exciting? Amen.